Joining us now, Kim Kardashian Live. Kimmy, how are you? I'm good, Ryan. How are you? Excellent, darling. Thank you for coming on today. Uh, thanks for having me. We were actually talking about you a little earlier because I played a clip from Courtney and Chloe Take Miami. And in this clip, it's the conversation that a lot of girls have. And that conversation is, by the time I'm 30, I will. Listen. I seriously thought by the time I was 30, I would have like two kids. Yeah. Or at least one and a half. One and a bun in the oven. You want to have one and have a bun in the oven? By the time I'm 30, I totally thought I would. And it wouldn't hurt to have huge too when you get pregnant. Because you don't have them already. I know, but yours are like 10 uh -huh. times bigger. And they're like firmer. Uh -huh. Mason is the cutest baby in the entire world. I cannot wait to have a baby just like him. Oh! I want one of you. I want one of you. I want to kidnap you. So now that airs on Sunday and was taped a little while ago. You still feel the same way? Let's just say that Mason is the best birth control ever because <laughs> I'm definitely happy to wait a few years. <laughs> well, uh, there were pictures uh, floating around of you in a bikini with uh, some of the sisters in Cabo for a little break. Yes, Cabo. Everyone loves Cabo. It's a good getaway from L.A. Did you get a little rest? Got a little rest. Got a little, you know, Mason came. It was fun. He loves, you know, the beach and the ocean. It was a lot of fun. So there's a lot going on in your world, and I, I guess it would be right of me to ask this question specifically because it's kind of controversial and, and certainly a big story here in Southern California, um, the USC Reggie Bush story. And I, I know that you guys – are still friendly and you think the world of the guy, but it, USC has already turned its copy of Reggie's Heisman Trophy in. No decision has been made on whether Reggie will be forced to give up the trophy he won back in 2005. Have you spoken to him about it? You know, not anytime recently, but I don't, I don't really think he should give it his end back. I think he earned it. I think he worked hard for it, and I think he deserves it. And I really don't think it's fair for anyone to you know, to, to take back all the hard work that he put in. Do and I, I don't know if I really think it's fair. I mean, USC can make their own decision on, on their end, but I'm sure a lot of people financially made a lot of money off of him, and are they going to give back, you know, are, are they going to just give back all the negative and keep the positive? Uh -huh. I, I, don't, I don't really think it's fair. I think he earned it, and he deserves it. Do you feel bad for him? Um, I do feel bad for him. I mean, I think he, he's, I'm sure he's going through a really hard time. And I'm sure that knowing the type of person he is, I'm sure that he would do anything in his power to make it up to the school. I know how much he does love USC and make it up to, you know, the kids that are playing there now that, you know, aren't eligible to make it to championships. Absolutely. Kim Kardashian with us now. And how about you? What's happening in your life? Because I know that we get to see a certain part of your life on the TV show. And I, I feel like there may be something else going on that we don't quite know about. Are you with someone, Kimmy, or are you not with someone, Kimmy? I am having a really good time. I am, you know, living my life and... There's nothing I want to tell you. <laughs> so there's there's no there's no breaking news about this uh, this Dallas Cowboy story. There's no big story there. Dallas Cowboy. Who, who, I, don't, I have no well, idea what no you're talking idea. about. Okay. So you're single. I'm 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 single and I'm having a, a good time. <laughs> you're making it really awkward, Ryan. I know. It's incredible. <laughs> we you love about... this, don't you? Well, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm having a good time. I'm meeting some really great people and just trying to live my life and definitely be probably a lot more private than I was before. Well, it's definitely aspirational. You look like you have a fun life, and I know you work hard uh, many hours a day. How about, uh, about the work? It's all about the work. I think I'm, I'm definitely in a huge love affair with my career right now. Well, can you talk about what's happening in the world of fashion with you? Because I know that you have some big plans there. Yeah, me, Courtney, and Chloe, we just um, signed a, a great deal with QVC, and we're going to be launching at um, Super Sunday in the Hamptons next Sunday. Um, Kelly Ripa is hosting it, and her and I are doing our Super Sunday together. And, um, you know, we're, Courtney, Chloe, and I just launched our second um, line with Beach Bunny Swimwear and had our big fashion show in Miami, and we're still designing for BB. Um, 
and we just signed a huge licensing deal for um, to, to have our own line of clothes and bags and shoes and everything with Courtney, Chloe, and I. So fashion is definitely, um, you know, it's where we started, opening up our store Dash, and mm-hmm. we hope to open up more. You never know where we, you know, go next. Miami is such a hit, so um, we're hoping to hopefully branch out. It sounds fun. I mean, there's one word that comes to mind when I think about you, and that's hustle. You, lo- I mean, you really work hard at leveraging this momentum, don't you? I mean, every day I'm hustling. I know. <laughs> yes. Up early and hustling. Um, it, you know, I think that, it, you know, I, I'm a businesswoman at the end of the day, and um, fashion is where we started. It's what I love, but I also love, you know, Courtney, Chloe, and I are writing a book. We have um, my fragrance. There's a lot coming out that my second fragrance launches – next year so there's a lot coming out for the kardashian girls and it's all exciting and we just love what we do we love working we love i would feel so lazy if i wasn't working hard well welcome back to your uh regular life thanks for calling today we'll see you on sunday's episode of the miami show courtney and chloe take miami kim have a great day thanks babe and wait we can't wait for the spin crowd coming out right after keeping up that'll be exciting too my first show i'm producing that's right executive producer adding that hat too all right baby thanks for calling we appreciate it 